is Rebecca. I'm going to show you how to prepare your birdhouses for the spring. Now February is a very good time to clean and prepare your birdhouses because it's a time when birds are looking for potential nesting sites. Of course you can also clean in the fall. Just make sure that the birds have finished using the house because many birds have a successive brood. Today uh, we're going to clean a wren house. This house was used by a wren family last uh, spring and summer. And uh, if you can get your house, if you can take it down from wherever it's mounted or hanging, it's, it will be much easier to clean. So before we begin cleaning our birdhouse, there's a couple of supplies uh, that would be used to have. First is a face mask. The face mask is going to help uh, protect you from dust mites, bacteria, and even bird droppings that may be found inside of the birdhouse. So uh, this is just a regular face mask you can get at a pharmacy and uh, just a little ear uh, goes around the ears. Also if you don't have one of these you can just go, uh, you can use a bandana and just tuck it under your chin. So I'm going to put this on. Sure I'm doing the right way. <laughs> Okay, the next thing you can use are some long, some long rubber gloves. These are just Playtex living gloves. You can buy them at pretty much any store, grocery store, hardware store, etc. So these are going to protect us from the uh, nesting materials and the cleaning solution. Also, uh, you want to get a cleaning brush. Something like this is great, and it also has a little side that has a little, uh, like a little scrubber where you can push material off if you need to. Okay. Also, our cleaning solution. We in this jug, I have put a cleaning solution of one part bleach to nine parts water. So I have one cup of bleach. I poured one, one, oh, excuse me, one cup of bleach in, and then I put nine cups of water. So this is going to be our cleaning solution. Also, we have this nice tub because we can uh, pour, pour our bleach water over this tub and capture it, and then we can dispose of our bleach water later. Also, have a plastic bag with no holes in it that you're going to dispose the nesting materials in. If you do have a house like this one, they're very uh, good. Ones that have a swinging door that you can just open. This has a swinging door on the bottom. And uh, it looks like uh, it originally had a, uh, a nail there, but I added a screw because I like to make sure that nothing could get in. <laughs> so there's a couple more things I'm going to have to take apart here. Also, if you don't have a birdhouse that has a swinging uh, panel on it like this one, you'll probably have to take the roof off. So, um, just whatever you have to do to get in there and clean it out. So, let's go ahead and open our birdhouse up. Okay, good. I just have one extra nail there at the end. So let's move the panel over. You can see there's lots of nasty stuff there. It's lighter at the top and then it gets very heavy at the bottom as if it may have some manure in it. So. Okay, so now let's clean out that material. Put your plastic bag under your house and clean out that material so that it falls in the plastic bag. Okay, 
got our birdhouse in. Now, take your bag, gently squeeze the upper, the air out of it, some of the air out of it, and tie a knot in it. This will keep all of the yuckies that might be in this nesting material in this plastic bag. And so we will just dispose of this in the trash can. So now we're ready to wash our house. Okay. Now we take our water bleach solution and pour it on the house. Be careful not to splash bleach on your face. that we need to do or put any extra hangers on it before we rehang or remount our house. Okay, it's nice and solid and the house is ready to hang. Yeah. Hello, we're putting a house up for you. Say hi to us. There's a little wren. The hanger house now. This is where the tree was, the birdhouse was located. This is the old hanger, hanging apparatus. A note about hanging birdhouses. Um, make, hang your birdhouses where it's harder for predators to get to your birds. Um, don't hang them directly on a uh, trunk of a tree or, um, or right on a post or a fence post because you know, the, the predators can get right to them so easily. Make it a little bit harder for them to get to. Hang it, hang it like a couple of feet or about 18 inches or so from a branch or on a pole with a, uh, with a baffle on it. And a baffle is a uh, metal or a hard plastic object that's shaped like an upside down bowl. So it keeps the predators from being able to get to your house because they can't travel up that way because they get in the bowl and slip off. He's, it's getting close to dark, and he is probably getting ready to roost around here. And he may have even been the one who nested in this house last year, or grew up in this little house. Be glad to see it again. And okay, we finally got around the tree branch. And notice this tree branch is about five feet out from the trunk. Oops. 
here's our plastic piece of it. And uh, you want to get it somewhere where it's not going to slide much. Okay, that's probably going to be good. Okay, so here we go. Also remove any other branches that are uh, going right into the birds, right toward the bird's house. I'm just doing this right now, but later I'll clip the branch. Just want to grab it away. These are really jewelry pliers, and they have a little cutter on one side too. Okay, so there's your house. It's also facing east. It runs like houses that face east. So hopefully, hopefully our little wren will be back here soon and build a nest again for this season. Thank you for watching. Oh, before we go, um, there's a really good website I want to share with you. It's uh, it's a it's a website about how to what types of bird houses attract to certain types of birds. So you can build different types of houses to help attract certain birds that are native to your to your area. Good luck to you and enjoy your birds.